Hi, my name is Paul Adam. I'm an ACS CAN volunteer, and I happen to have psoriatic arthritis. It causes inflammation in my joints, in my hands, my shoulders, my knees, my hips. It's all over my body. Thankfully, my doctor found a drug that works really well at controlling the pain. I definitely would have trouble functioning without it. It just happens to be a very expensive drug. And now my insurance company is making it even more expensive for me. I get shots once a month with a copay of $2,400 until my deductible is met, $5,000, which means my first two treatments of the year come out of my pocket. That's a lot of money for me to come up with once a month. Fortunately, I've been able to benefit from something called a copay assistance card. It covers the copay in full, so no money has to come out of my pocket. This was a huge relief for me, both physically and financially. I could control my disease without breaking the bank. Then my insurance company stepped in. Without any notice, they stopped applying my copay assistance to my deductible. They said, that if the money doesn't come out of my pocket, they don't have to put it towards my deductible. This practice is known as copay accumulator adjustment, and it's been adopted by many of the major health insurers. I happen to work in the healthcare industry, and I have to tell you, it took quite a while for me to understand what was going on. I couldn't figure out why the numbers suddenly weren't adding up. I spent hours on hold with my insurance company until somebody finally explained it to me. Copay accumulator adjustment is not a policy that they're eager to publicize. 15 states have already protected patients' rights by prohibiting this practice. We need to work on the other 35, including here in Rhode Island. My psoriatic arthritis causes me debilitating pain if I don't get my shots. Other patients with life-threatening illnesses can face even more serious consequences if they can't afford their medications. I believe it is wrong for insurance companies to make it more difficult for patients to get the drugs they need.